Hi, Reese here from PD Gamers doing a Castle Clash instructional video for Expedition, Hero Expedition. Hero Expedition can be found by selecting the arena tab, clicking the Expedition button. This opens this screen where you get to attack 10 opponents per day of increasing might to earn hate, uh, honor badge and merit rewards. Uh, Expedition is one of the easiest game modes on Castle Clash, but there is a few nuances to it, so if you're not doing too well at it, don't worry, we'll get you there soon enough. Uh, so we hit Expedition, based on the might that you have, you get to put more heroes down. I think at the maximum, you get to put 10 on the table at the time, or on 8, on the, eight or 9 or 10 on the table at the time, sorry, I can't remember. And you can have up to 15 selected for a battle. So Hero Expedition is just like a raid, except you can't use magic. So as a result, you want to find easy opponents wherever possible, especially if, you're, if your team is a little weaker. As your team gets stronger, you can kind of just brute force your way through. So this base is one, for example, where if you need, if you need to be cautious, you put your heroes on the outside that can hit from a distance like Ares, Thunder God, Spirit Mage, Warlock, Harpy, heroes like that. And then hopefully by the time those heroes have cleared the outside buildings, the heroes inside for the most part will be dead. As you'll see here. So you'll see, although now that now that the Ares is confronted by Ares, I'm going to drop all my heroes because I don't want to get the Ares to proc on me just in case I get killed. And then you see my, the, the core heroes run through the base pretty easily especially once the Santa, which is the only dangerous hero there, was killed. Uh, you need to make sure you 100% the base uh, because you maximize your rewards that way. If, you are in a, if you're in a, uh, a uh, hero expedition and you're doing some work and you're less than 50%, you could quit out if you don't like it, but no penalty. It doesn't cost you anything, your heroes don't die, and heroes, and, and heroes that die in hero expedition don't, um, don't die for other game modes, only for hero expedition. Uh, on that note, you, each of your heroes can be used until they die in Hero Expedition, but once a hero has died in any one of your battles in Hero Expedition, you can't use it again that day, until the next server day. Uh, so, so you need to be a little wary, at least if you have a few specific strong heroes, not to get them killed. Uh, and that's also a reason to avoid some of the tougher opponents if they turn up. Enough people have pretty friendly bases, bases like this with no heroes on it, where you get to just walk through it pretty quickly. Uh, although it wouldn't have mattered with the building setting corners like this, those four, my four heroes on the outside would clear the heroes off the bases anyway if they were there. Uh, Atlanticor is a good hero to have, especially if he has revive and he's a high level for this game mode because you can send him in next to bases that are tightly packed and you send your whole team in with him going first and normally he can survive long enough for you to get, for you to get your procs off and then win the battle anyway. So as you can see, the bases are on average getting slightly harder because they have their opponents have higher might. Uh, so here's an example of a tightly packed base where, not that this is a tough one, you could still set your heroes on the outside anyway, but say that the hero bases were better placed towards the outside. If there was a particular hero that's a problem for you, then you just, so I'm going to do it over here with Reaper, and I'm just going to drop with Atlantic or first, and by the time their heroes even get moving, they're already in pretty big trouble. Your pumpkin duke's proc procced once and the battle's going to be ending pretty quickly. Like I normally cruise through Hero Expedition losing a couple of heroes if I'm reckless and sometimes not losing any. Um, there's no, no uh, penalties for losing heroes by the time the Hero Expedition's over. If you're 100% on every base, that's all that matters. So here's an example of a tightly packed base where you could lead with Atlantic Core uh, or similar hero. Especially useful mo uh, thing to do if your Ares has Revitalize or your Minotaur or your Vlad or your Destroyer or any other hero that can stun them has revitalized because you'll get that first stun off and then by the time the stun wears off your team's already running rampant through the base. This game is really important to play because it, as you can see the rewards for the rewards in, in both honor badges and merits are very very high so you want to maximize them um, <coughs> and so as a result you don't really want to miss playing it any day at all uh, especially as your, as your mic gets higher and the rewards increase uh, because you're fighting high my opponents, it's especially important to make sure you're uh, completing it every day. So, last thing I want to show you is maybe a tougher. So here's an example. So here's an example of a base that you would want to target if you were a bit on the weaker side. You would drop as many heroes like Spirit Mage on the outside as you can, and then hopefully those five heroes should be able to clear this base on their own. Don't drop Minotaur when doing it this way because he destroys too many buildings at once. Buildings that you need to keep alive so that your other heroes can hit the buildings and then proc on the enemy heroes. So as you see already there, almost all the heroes are dead. In fact they're about to be Thunder God, just wipe them out. And there you go, five heroes 
easily doing hair expedition on their own, although Ares almost got himself killed by bombs. And uh, that's, that's essentially the gist to it. So it's pretty easy stuff, you know. And you get five you get five skips if you find opponents that you think are too tough. So if you have opponents where you're a little wary of losing heroes, just skip them. It's fine. It's, it's generally the game mode's easy enough that you're not going to need to use all five skips um, to <coughs> to clear to clear off your hero expedition, even if even if you run bad with the with the opposition that turns up. <coughs> so be um, be generous with them. You don't get anything for, for not using them, so you might as well use them up. So you go, all the heroes are killed, drop the rest of your team, and include the base. Nice and simple. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, please please feel free to message us either on the website or through line. You can contact us online uh, at Pothabird. Uh, Thanks for watching. Check out the website for strategy articles and as much in, any inf information on any topic Castle Clash related. Uh, and subscribe to the channel to watch more videos. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot.